Scandinavian word means the the, the Borg Island, the Brock Island in other words. So it was an island that was recognised by the Norse for its Brocks. And over there somewhere you have both the eastern and uh, the west Brocks of Bury, which are still quite substantial mounds. And have they, have they been excavated? Or? Yeah, one of them has, uh, East Brock of Bury in particular, has effectively was, was hollowed out, the interior of it was emptied out back in the 19th century. There's still an awful lot of the structure of the, the site still visible and still you know, kind of you can make quite a lot of sense of it when you visit it on the ground. That's still very over there. You can see um, the sort of dispersed settlement, but you also see that uh, a lot of the um, houses have got wind turbines associated with them, and, and one of the um, aspects of Orkney is the uh, the use of renewable technology um, and one of the things that I found when I came up here was that uh, um, all the wind turbines and uh, the actual houses with uh, wind turbines attached now this is an interesting geographical feature here where we're actually going over um, another causeway and you'll see on that side the, uh, the log is actually higher than the, the sea yeah. on, on that side. Yeah. It always amuses me every morning when I see yeah. that slow tide. That, um, that, this causeway in this instance is quite deceptive. In this instance, this causeway is actually based on a natural uh, physical feature. Right. A, natu a natural tombola, a sandbar that's spread across and cut that bay off to form that loch. That loch is Loch Echter. And it's a location, quite a sad story, but a very interesting one. It's, it's one of the locations where some of the last witches on Orkney um, were executed. There's a gallows site up there, and it's often sometimes said that they were burnt and uh, remains disposed of in the loch as well. So, quite a, a fair degree of tragedy, but also fascinating um, uh, association with that, that feature of that loch.